This is Gifted Fingers. Welcome for another session of worship and a worshiper's life. Now, today we'll be discussing a topic that is very, very vital. Worship. What is worship? Most people, when you mention the word worship, this gadget come into their mind. Thinking, worship is singing. I'm here to discourage you and tell you worship is not singing. Worship is beyond the microphone. Worship is a lifestyle. The way you live your life, that is worship. What everything you do on earth, that is worship. Most people say that, oh, I'm worshiping. I'm a worshiper because I'm in the praise and worship. No, that is not worship. Worship is a lifestyle. How you live from Monday to Sunday, that is what you can tell me is worship. People say that worship happens in Sunday morning during a praise and worship service. That is not worship. Let me discourage you here that worship is not the musical session part of it. Musical session makes it part of worship, but it is not worship. Don't, dif uh, you need to differentiate that there is worship and there is music. People tend to think that when you are singing, that is worship. Singing slow songs is not worship. And singing faster songs is not praise. <laughs> Let me discourage you. This thing has brought so many musicians down. This one has killed so many musicians. Because the war for this one is making them feel that they are above even the man of God of the house. So today, let us talk about worship. What is worship? Worship derived from the word worship. Worship. It is what they eat. Now, it began even before the world was created. There is that person who was in charge of worship. Lucifer was in charge of worship. And after all that story, he lost his throne in heaven. And he was thrown to earth. Now, this man that was thrown to earth knew all the qualities of worship. What is it to what does it mean to be a worship leader? What does it mean to be a worshiper? What worship is and how worship is conducted? He was aware. The devil could just appear. Appearance of the devil was a complete worshiper to the father. Now, people think that the devil is just that person who looks like a whoa, whoa, whoa. The Bible describes the devil as the morning star. The Bible has got a clear definition of the, of the devil. How the devil was shining. Now, the glory of the Father, you know, the glory of God, when the glory of God was upon everyone, he was one of the angels there, then. He was one of the angels. Now, putting in mind he was one of the angels, in fact, he was the chief in charge. He was the worship leader in heaven. He was the praise and worship leader. He himself was worship. He could open up his wings. And let me tell you, the devil could satisfy the heavens by just appearing. So worship is not music, and music is part of worship. When the devil could appear, that is a complete worship. That means that when you appear, that is worship. So worship is a lifestyle. Now, in heaven and on earth, worship is needed. We worship God. When you worship God, you are lifted to the dimensions of the Spirit. And you start seeing Him as who He is. Worshiping God... I'll, I'll talk to you about the songs later in the next topic. Worshipping God is not standing there bringing all your needs and problems to him. Telling him, oh God, oh God, I've not paid my rent. That is not worship. Worship is just talking to him, Lord, you are great. According to the book of uh, uh, Psalms chapter 7, the Bible says, oh God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your praise in the heavens. The Bible really describes that. So, the first word that uh, the first place that we hear worship is mentioned uh, was when Abraham went to offer his son as a sacrifice to God. He was to go and offer a worship. So worship needs that sacrifice. We are not there. That's the topic of another day. So today, let's talk about this thing called worship. You must worship something or someone. You either worship God or you worship mammon. Two options. You can never worship nothing. You can never worship, you can never be between not worshipping and worshipping. No. You need either to worship God or you worship the devil. Real worship is when you talk about the cross, the lamb, the blood. So every time you tend to be talking about any other thing that is away from worship, 
that one contradicts worship and it really contradicts worship and it's not part of worship and believers you need to know the difference between these two things let me be clear about this worshipers are not paid with awards worshipers are rewarded if a human being pays you that human being would have awarded you and the moment you receive an award from a human being in heaven you miss the reward uh-huh an award is enough payment for people but a reward is from god worship is an encounter not an experience never misunderstand worship to be an experience it is not an experience it is an encounter because you come to in conjunction with the beings the, it is when the earth and the heavens join that is worship singing high keys and the complicated tonal variation is does not make you a good worshiper god i bless you that does not make you a good worshiper i remember there are days that we could sing very simple songs and they could make sense for instance a very song a very simple song like uh ni wewe ni wewe bwana you can sing a very simple song like ni wewe ni wewe bwana and god moves depending on how you bring it ni wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe ni wewe bwana so when you're doing any music as long as you know who you are singing to it makes it a complete music put in mind music is part of worship but it is not worship dynamic grammar does not make you a good worshiper you cannot come and just complicate us with the grammar god i subdue you you are the omnipotent omnipresent omniscient you are the hey very cock english and you want us to believe that you are now a good worshiper no 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 you can have you can just be having that crooked english that crooked kiswahili that kiswahili that is filled with your mother tongue and yet god moves in that and the last point is that god uh, is that nobody is exceptional in worship everybody must worship everybody is included of worship including